Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Chicken Nugget AC, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a working mana bar that works better than any other tutorial has shown. So what you want to start off with is making these four variables. You want to make mana start, make it logic and player persistent, and have it set to false. And then max mana, number, player persistent, set to 100. Mana multiplier, it's supposed to be multiplier, but I messed it up. Uh, set it as a number, player persistent, set to 0. And then mana, a number, player persistent, set to 100. Alright, and once you have that done, I want you to go to mod elements and just go to your main area. Um, sorry, I have this open. Um, and then create a folder and name it mana or whatever you want. If you don't want to create a folder, it's fine. It's just easier to put your stuff in. And then open up that folder. And what you want to do first is you want to make a procedure called mana start. And I will have this in my Discord. And if you want to put it in, if you want to um, download it and put it in here, you just download it, click import procedure, press this home button up here, double click this PC and open this up. Oh my goodness. And then, oh my gosh, I'm messing that up. Double click this PC and then just go to downloads and it should be in there. Mine's right here, mana.ptpl. And then just hit open on it. Um, yeah, so then you'll have this here. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can just look at this and recreate it. It's not too hard. It's actually fairly simple. And make sure you set the player tick update to when player joins the world. It should be, like, right down here. And then click on that. And then click Save Mod Element. And the next part you want to do is you want to create a regeneration feature. So you want to do... If get global mana for event target entity is less than the global max mana, then it will wait one tick and set global mana to get global mana plus one. And you want to set it on player tick update. So if you scroll down, um, it's right before player respawns. It's right here. It's a little bit different looking because it has an ON at the start. It doesn't just say player tick update. And then you want to click save mod element. All right. Next part you want to do is you want to create a way to increase your mana capacity. So just make a food and then upgrades your mana capacity. And then just if you want to change the properties, you can, but I just ignore that. And then do, do when food eaten, set global max mana to plus 25 or get the global max mana plus 25. And set the global max mana multiplier to, uh, to mana multiplier plus 1. And then click save mod element. And actually, I want to make this so that you can, uh, you can like insta eat it basically. Just set that to one. And so, next thing that you want to make is actually a tool for it. As you all know, you usually need something for the mana to, to, to work with. So, just make your tool, name it whatever you want. Go to properties, change up the properties however you want. I don't care. This is your tool. Set it to sword, set it to combat. Go to triggers and do when right clicked in air because this is a magic item. You're obviously going to want it to probably shoot something. But if you don't want it to, you can always do um, when entity is hit with tool. And you can make it so that like if it's a sword and you hit the entity with a tool, it does the procedure. But I'm doing when right clicked in air. So when you open this up, you want to do if get global mana for entity is less than 24 because I want it to be 25. Whatever number you want it to be. Just set it one lower than that. So I'm setting it 24. So if you want it to take away 25 mana when you use it, you want to set this to 24 right here. And then get global mana. So basically this subtracts 25 mana. Um, all the downloads for all these things will be in the Discord. You just have to figure out where they go. And then I wanted it to, when it does this, um, I also wanted it to shoot a ranged item with a power of two, and it's my custom ranged item named fire, and then deal one damage to provide him, uh, provided item stack so that it takes away some durability. Oh, and on to the part you have all been waiting for. Go to the mana area, um, press your plus button and press V. It will open up an overlay. Just name it like a mana overlay or something. And once you have it open up, click on the text. I already have it open here. And once the text is open, click on this. You'll be at the top right here. Scroll down till you see var mana, var integer mana. And then click that and then change the color to whatever you want. I'll have it as this and then save changes. If you want to show the max mana as well, just like add a slash and then do like max mana, var integer max mana. You can just copy this or whatever. Um, 
it is a bit annoying to do so I'm just too lazy to do it and then just do hit save mod element and let's get into the all right we are now in the game and as you can see in the bottom left we have a number that says 100 and so let's test it let's get my staff item out I wrote stad staff and let's test it so as you can see when I right click it does remove 25 mana and if I spam it, if it goes below 25, I actually can't shoot it. And I believe since I'm in creative mode, that's why it's not letting the item take any damage. So, yeah, let's get some mana chews. And let's test this out. So let's do game mode survival. And as you can see, it now does take item damage. And if we eat this, which... Oh yeah, I have to make it so that you can consume it whenever you want. So let's do game mode creative. As you can see, you can consume it as much as you want in creative. Basically, just go to the food settings and make it so that you can eat the item whenever you want. And as you can see, my max mana increased by a crap load when I ate those, because I ate a lot of them. But yeah, let's see what it goes to. 475. And then I can just spam it all with an auto clicker. <laughs> but yeah, as you see, it works very well. Um, my friend, Mr. Time Men 1985 helped me with this. I didn't know that you could do overlays with variable numbers in them, but that was a massive help. The rest I figured out by myself, but since he helped a lot, um, I will post his Discord in the description. He has a very cool mod pack in there that does involve mana and magic items. So if you want to go check that out, please do. It is pretty sick. And so yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please press like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. This took a while to make, and it was extremely annoying along the way. So I will see you guys all later, and have a good night. Bye.